Rabbit Precious Jet. Um, today is Tuesday the 23rd of February 2021. Um, quite a nice day today actually out, uh, quite sunny, it's been a, a nice morning, been out with the dog. So anyway today in the boat we have loads of these which are uh, tile spacers, loads of these which is ballast, so what we're going to do is, um, if I just come over and pick you up, you'll uh, you'll see a bit better. So what we're doing today is um, putting a few tile spacers down on the floor and then uh, dropping the ballast on top. I was toying with the idea of offsetting the ballast like that, but I don't think I will. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, line them up straight with the rest. Um, and then that way that little channel down the side there will allow any any water to run out if there is indeed any water in the bilge so uh, but we'll see how it goes um, what we'll do is I'll uh, I'll put you somewhere as an advantage point and I'll stick you on time lapse and uh, you can watch me putting ballast in so what I've been doing is I've been putting five tile spacers and then uh, dropping a brick on top um, I could put more um, because these tile spaces are cheap but uh, my OCD won't let me <laughs> um, I chucked a handful down and um, before I know what I was doing I was arranging them into little star patterns and putting the bricks on top so that's how it's going I am um, I'm putting five spaces down per brick and then um, putting the bricks in so yeah like I said I'll leave a little gap in there uh, all the way down the side there'll be a little gap uh, just to allow any water to run off and you can see I've already done this uh, this side here I've already done so that's lined up now there's a bit of my ballast stacked on top but they're in the insulation down the side um, not completely necessary but it was in there when I had the boat so it's going back in I've left the gap under there for the water to run there's a gap there for the water to run and the same with this lot there's a gap either side for the water to run and the insulation is also sitting on tile spaces and then at the end of the in, at the end of the insulation under there look you can't quite see but there is a gap as well for to allow water to run down either side of the boat because the chances are the boat's going to be tilted uh leaning one side listing to one side or the other it's never going to be dead flat in the water you know so um so it'll always allow water to run off either to that side or to that side so there you go that floor's looking great it's a shame to cover it up and then i've also got i don't know where you're gonna be able to see it, it's a bit bright i've got some ballast out here as well look um so the broken slabs they'll go and i don't know if you can quite see there i've got some more uh, block pavers there block bricks so the block paving bricks they're quite good they can go back in but all the broken slabs they'll be out and what i'll do is i'll take them to the back of the boat weigh them and then the equivalent of steel ballast will go back in um, I don't need to worry about ballast at the front of the boat because I probably am going to have two water tanks which means I'll need less ballast either that or the front of the boat will sit slightly low in the water when the tanks are full which either way I'm not too fussed about so right let's set you up on time lapse and you can watch me stacking bricks <laughs>
Right, that's that bit of ballast down now, look. That's looking quite good, that is. Charlie boy seems quite happy with it anyway. He seems happy to walk on it. So there's a little bit of insulation there. That wasn't full ballast, that was insulated. Uh, the net, and then from the rest of the boat back, they're all insulated. These were the only two bilges that had full ballast. Um, I need to go back on my photos and find out what was in this one. Because um, I think, in fact, I'm wondering whether them two there were half ballast and these two here were full ballast. But we'll find out. We'll find out. And uh, it's only a case of moving half a dozen blocks, 12 blocks, something like that. So we'll see. And if I have to put a, um, a sheet of insulation in there, then I will and just move the others up to here. Which is what I think actually was in here. I think it, that's the way it was. So what I'm going to do now is um, count up the ballast, what I've got there. Find out how much ballast I need. Ballast I need for the next one, two, three, three bilges. And then what I've got left will tell me how much I need to put at the front here. And then that's it, we're done. A couple of boards over here. Shift the spare ballast and all the junk and my tools over to this side of the boat, the front of the boat, and then start tackling that bit of the boat at the back there. And then once that's done, we're, we're, out, of, we're out of here. We're building. Floor's done, we're building. So another quick look at that floor. Wow, it's awesome, isn't it? Looks great. Right, let's start moving some, uh, start counting and moving ballast then. So, stand by. So that's the uh, the ballast moved and neatly stacked. Um, you're gonna laugh at me now. I did tour with the idea of taking the ballast home and jet washing it. <laughs> and um, I had to sit myself down and give myself a damn good talking to. Um, and it's, it's my OCD. I like things to be neat and tidy and, and done. Although when you look at that now, you don't think, oh, that's not neat and tidy. But when I finish the boat, it, everything will be neat and tidy as you can probably tell. So I need to get this floor up here. That's the last bit of board. That's the last board to go. That's coming up. Uh, there is ballast under that. The base plate under that bit is quite good. It's in, it's in quite good condition actually. So that won't need a great deal of work to get it back to uh, how I want it. And then we can um, aqua steel it, red oxide it, and then I can get this all cleared and um, and I can uh, two pack the rest of the boat. And then once that's done, way, we're off. We're off and running, we're refitting. I need to go to the local boat yard and, and price up some, uh, some, some timber. Um, I've measured the boat. So from the front of the boat to the back of the boat where I'm um, fitting in the shower, just this saloon area, the, the, the galley and the shower room, um, it's 24 feet and three inches. And the width of the boat is exactly six foot on the floor where, uh, where the boards go. So what I'll do is I'll do the same as what was done before. I'll fit the boards in three two foot sections and that'll give me six foot. So I'll lay the two outside boards and then I'll lay the center board down the center. And what I'll probably do is I'll wait until I get all the bilge sorted. And, um, and then once all the bilge is sorted and ready for the boards to go back in, I'll lay the boards in measure up, cut them, lay them, take them out, paint them. And I'll spend a week painting um, 
and waterproofing the boards. Even though I'm going to use um, a marine ply or a very high quality floor ply, uh, I'm going to speak to the woodyard and uh, see what they recommend. Because um, obviously, marine ply is good, it's, it's okay, it's designed to uh, live with water, which is what this is going to be. But if there's a better product out there um, for the same price or cheaper, it's worth thinking. I have looked at plastic. Um, reclaimed plastic boards, 18 mil reclaimed plastic boards. I have looked at that. Boy, they're expensive. Um, and it's recycled plastic, and I would love to use them to get rid of plastic out of the environment and put it in the boat, and it's gonna be there for oh, donkey's years. But it won't rot, and it's amazing stuff. And you can cut it, like, um, same as wood, you can cut it and paint it, the same as wood. It's just massively expensive. I mean, um, I can't remember what it was, but it was almost twice the price of marine ply. And it's just just stupidly expensive and um, I'd love to have used it to get it to, get, to use recycled plastic more than anything else um, to be more environmentally friendly but at the end of the day I've got to draw a line somewhere and um, yeah so there you go anyway I'm gonna tidy up the back of the boat the rest of that back bit now um, so I don't think you need to see that all my tools and everything I'm gonna stack neatly over here in the corner there I'm gonna stack them down there give me some room to work and then uh, that'll be me done for the day then once I've tidied up this and, and restacked the tools and then that, that bit of wood all the wood I've got stored in the shower room there I need to think about moving that out of the way getting rid of that and storing it somewhere because um, when I come to epoxy resin I'm going to need to be in there and that wood can't be so uh, yeah but we'll get there so right let's tidy these tools up get them neatly stacked sort them back out stack them down there out of the way and then uh, we'll show you what it looks like when it's when all this is tidied up and a bit clearer. Right, that's the ballast moved out of the final two sections of bilge and it's all stacked here look it's made a lovely charging station look, for me electrics <laughs> so they don't look too bad the base plate don't look too bad at all this bit here it's a bit rough um, but that was round by the sink area so uh, I'm not surprised you know and there's been a few leaks obviously under there with water and bits and bobs but this this side looks perfect and if you look down there you could almost paint straight onto that now you know there's a few lumpy bits there but gosh it's nearly 20 years old I'm not surprised you know yeah not surprised it's got some rust in there with it being that old so it's doing all right it's looking good it's looking good so tomorrow or the next few days I'll come over here um, and uh, I'll get the um, I'll get the multi-tool on it with an old saw blade and I'll use it as um, a similar thing to a needle gun. Um, get rid of all that. And then I'll aqua steel it, red oxide it, and then clear all that out. And then I can paint. So I can't wait. I can't wait. So, there you go. That's it for today. 
I was going to do several um, days worth of video, but I think you've got enough there for one day, and it just shows you what I've been doing and um, how far I've got so far and what I'm doing each day. As I said, it's not a race. Um, I'm not going to rush it all just because I have to be on the boat at the end of March, April time. It's no rush. If it's not ready, I've got a bed somewhere I can sleep in, I'm sure. So, um, although the house is being sold, my son's buying the house, so he ain't going to kick me out. Just, um, hope you don't. <laughs> so anyway, that's where I am so far. Right, that'll be the end of the video. So you guys take care of yourselves, because I want you to come back and carry on watching. So look after yourselves, look after your families. And I'll see you soon. See you, bye.